All right, guys, ready for this three and two and one. I'm so incredibly proud of you. You got this. Hi, Fender Fizz, and welcome back to a brand new workout video. Today, we're going to slim down the inner thighs, and this is part of our two week workout challenge. Our full program is in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's go, let's glow. So we're going to get started with side kicks. And we're going to do every single exercise for one minute straight with a little bit of a break in between. And for this first one, we're going to lean on one elbow and on one knee like this. And then we're going to kick out. So kick out, really good job. I'm so incredibly proud of you for taking the time out of your day to do this workout with me. I know working out can be hard and challenging, especially starting with an exercise like this. I'm already shaking and it's only the first exercise I know, but this is a tough one. So please be proud of yourself and smile through the pain, keep smiling, especially because we're already more than halfway through this first exercise. Go give it your all. Come on, don't quit now. We're not quitters here. We got this. Come on, you're doing great. You're strong, you're powerful, you're amazing. Three and two. And that is it, guys. Now, next up, we're going to do inner thigh circles. So we're going to lay down again, place one foot over the other leg, and then use your other leg to make circles with. Really nice, beautiful circles. Amazing. Come on, keep it up. Again, keep smiling, that's really important. I always say this, but you gotta keep a smile on your face, come on. And that was it, really good job. Now we're going to do inner thigh races. So exact same thing, one leg over the other, but this time we're going to go up and down. Are you guys ready for this? Three and two and one. Let's do this, up and down. Beautiful, come on, that's it. Don't give up. Keep going, keep glowing, you got this. You're stronger than you think you are. Sometimes we downplay ourselves and we're like, oh, we're dreading working out, we can't do this, this is too hard, this is too difficult, but I don't wanna hear any of that today. We're just going to keep going, put our mind off for a second, no negative thoughts allowed, only positive to hear. So keep moving your leg. Don't you dare to pause, come on. We're in this together, we're in this to win this. I know it's burning, but instead of saying it burns so bad, we say it burns so good. Enjoy the pain, three and two and one, and that is it my loves. Now we are going to do waves. So for our wave, we're going to make a beautiful ocean movement. Three, two, one, are you guys ready? Let's do this. You're a beautiful wave. You're on a beach. You're the water, you're flowing, you're glowing, you're thriving, come on. And this might seem like a silly move, 
but trust me, this works the inner thighs so, so well. I've been doing this move for ages now. Always incorporate it in my inner thigh workouts just because it works so well. And oh, I'm kicking my wall there. That's not what I intended to do. I'm sorry, wall. Um, but sometimes you just don't change the recipe. Like when you bought, when you uh, make a really good cake, you don't change up the house recipe because it's too damn good. And that's the same with this wave. I know I do this one often, but it works. Oh my God. <sighs> My thighs are burning. Okay, now on to the last move on this side, the knee to chest leg lift. Are you guys ready for this one? Lift your leg and now bring your knee to your chest. Right here and lift it up. Knee to chest and lift. Come on, you got this. Perfect, you're doing so well. And that's what I mean about exceeding your expectations. Sometimes we gaslight ourselves. It's not even the wrongdoing of other people. We self-sabotage and it's so bad to the point where we feel like we can't accomplish anything, but you're already more than halfway through this workout. And this is a tough one. So I applaud you for that. You should be very, very proud of yourself. And we're almost done with this exercise as well. Then we only have one more side to go. We're done with this side. So, you know, time flies when you're having fun. And that was it already. Now we're going to move on to the other side for the side kick on this side. We are going to lean on one knee, use your elbow to support yourself, make sure that you're in a comfortable position, and then we're going to bring it back here and bring it back up, up, and up. Come on, I'm shaking as well. This one is definitely the most difficult exercise of the workout, but Nothing faces us. We're not afraid to be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone. This one is hard for me as well, so I hope that kind of helps in your suffering. <laughs> but like I said, we try to enjoy the pain. No pain, no gain. Come on. You're almost done. Give it your all. Don't give up. We're not quitters here. Come on. And three. And two. And one. And that is it. I'm so proud of you. Okay, now we're going to do our thigh circles. So we're going to lay down. one leg over the other and then we're going to create our beautiful circles and i always have to remind myself of this as well use your whole leg not just your foot amazing keep it up um, And we are done. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but then instead of circles, we're going to do races. Let's go. And by the way, if this 
this is uncomfortable for you or this position is a little bit too hard, you can also put your other leg like this if this is easier for you. It doesn't really matter, both exercises are good. It's just an option that I'm giving you to change positions if that is somehow more comfortable for you. And three, and two, and one. And that is it, beautiful people. Now we're going to move into the waves. We're already in the perfect position to do the wave actually, so that is very, very useful, beautiful waves. Come on, mermaids, we got this. I love this move because it's a more flowy one. So it's nice to change things up a little bit. Come on. You're doing really well. After this, we only have one more exercise to go. And that is the knees to chest. So go and give it your all. If you did 100%, then now I want you to give 200%. We're going in with full force. Again, we're not quitters. So come. Three and two and one. And that is it for our beautiful wave. Now we're going into the knees to chest. Okay, are you guys ready? We're giving it our full 200%. Come on, no excuses. And whilst we're doing this last final exercise, I want to talk about something because I want to genuinely know how you guys are doing. So after you're finished doing this workout, please answer in the comments down below. With the change of seasons from my favorite season in the world, summer to fall, I have been feeling a little bit more down, especially because here in the Netherlands, where I'm from, it has been raining like crazy and thundering. And of course, it's so super dark so early on in the evening. So I feel like my days are way shorter and it has its effects on my mood, definitely. But I noticed that getting outside, even though it's raining, even though it's storming has helped me so much. So I recommend going for a walk after you're done with this workout. And that is right now because we are done. I'm going to go outside and walk my dog. So maybe you have a dog as well. This is your sign to take them out. And even if you don't have a dog, just go and walk around your block, even if it's for five minutes. But just after accomplishing a workout, taking in that fresh air feels so amazing. So that's my little assignment for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Full program is in the description box. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Love y'all loads, proud of you.